Take one size 16 who's devoted to fatty food. I absolutely love food and there's nothing that I really wouldn't eat. Mixed together with four hot chefs willing to share their skinny secrets. Wine actually adds a lot of flavour to a dish and it doesn't add loads of calories, it doesn't add loads of fat. Allow six okay. weeks to reduce by one size and you've got a recipe to cook yourself thin. leave us deprived and still dumpy so give them up it's time to stop starving yourself and get back in that kitchen yes you can shift the bulge and still indulge if you know how to cook yourself thin meet our four cool cooks who will show you how to have your cake eat it and still look gorgeous chef sophie when it comes to dieting and losing weight my philosophy for starters is don't diet Food stylist, Harry. Denial is very dangerous, because if you don't have it, then you're going to end up craving it and having it anyway. Food writer, Gizzy. I am one of those people who has to eat chocolate every single day. And food consultant, Sal. My favourite food has got to be all food, of course. This week, they're helping disillusioned dieter Farah Malik to drop a dress size without giving up her favourite foods. Plus, we test out another slimming product, finding out if it really works or if it's just a big, fat fib. 30-year-old Farah Malik is a size 16 who's not exactly happy with her body. Well, I've got a very large stomach. Um, makes it very tight in my clothes. At work, she successfully dresses to cover her size. But she's got a big event coming up where there is no place to hide. I'm getting married in three months and I don't fit into my wedding dress by any stretch of the imagination. The cause of her wedding dress woes is her fixation for fatty meals. I love curry. It's my passion. It's what I was brought up on. I don't feel right unless I have curry at least three or four times a week. As long as there's fat in her food, it seems that Farah's not fussy. I love lasagna and not the low-fat type you buy in the supermarket. And she's just as passionate about puddings. Desserts, you can't really beat tiramisu. It's creamy, I absolutely adore it. But this bride will have to stop eating the stodge if she's going to squeeze into the church on time. The great thing about her is that she is really foodie, isn't she? I mean, she, mm. she loves food. She's actually really educated in it. She eats in some of the most amazing restaurants. Now. Farah just loves her curries, but what do we think? Three times a week? It's a bit excessive, isn't it? Well, the big thing is her kind of huge affair with curry is now affecting her chances of getting into her wedding dress. You know, she had a fitting the other day and actually had to be cut out of it because it was too <laughs> small on her. <laughs> what with the curries, the takeaways and everything, we've got our work cut out, I have to say. Farah's curry craving means that a chicken tikka can regularly ruin her regime. I love curry. I get actually physically ill if I don't have it on a regular basis. But this fast food favourite can be harsh on the hips because of the fatty curry, greasy rice and stodgy naan bread. Gizzy's challenge, create a creamy curry that's kind to curves. This is some chicken I've had marinating overnight for about 12 hours. Zero fat Greek yoghurt and just some curry paste. I'm going to pop this into a really high oven. I'm making an aromatic rice to go with it. Okay. I've got some cinnamon here. I'm using some curry leaves, a big pinch of saffron, a tiny little handful of mustard seeds. When you go for an Indian, you have that pilau rice that's covered in butter and it's really, really fatty. So this kind of gives a bit more yep, of an indulgent absolutely. rice because you've got all the aromatics. So I'm just going to pour some basmati rice in here and bring it to the boil. Leave it for about five minutes. Turn it off, let it absorb all the water for 10 minutes. The sauce. Mm -hmm. Curry paste. This is just an onion and I'm just going to cover it in the paste. I'm going to take this uh, chicken out of the oven now. This is half fat coconut milk. 
and just uh, putting in a, a spot of passata as well. This looks so tasty. There's no way that Farrah's going to think this is a pale imitation. This is well, real. You know, real you stuff. can see how creamy it is. It, it's already looking really indulgent, you know. Add some chopped coriander and some naught fat Greek yogurt. There we go. Hardcore skinny, ditch the coconut milk and add more zero fat Greek yogurt. Gizzy's chicken tikka looks fabulous, but will it pass the cook yourself thin test? Meet the bomb, technically known as a ballistic bomb calorimeter. It's an expensive piece of high tech equipment used by science bods to measure the exact calorie count of any food. This is how it works. Food is blended in a liquidizer, placed in a hot oven until burnt to a cinder, crushed to a powder, inserted into a sealed chamber and then charged with oxygen. The food sample is then exploded. Revealing the calorific content, which is 543 calories. That's a whopping 1,000 calories less in a single meal. Gizzy's beaten the bomb. Do you want to know a secret? This is great for when you're trying to lose weight, but it can sometimes be a little bland. So I've got a really great zesty marinade to perk up any fish. I mix up ginger, garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, and lime. Marinate for 10 minutes, then pop onto skewers and char grill. It's absolutely fantastic. I love sausages. It's one of my favourite foods and I never want to miss out on it. The problem with sausages is they are loaded with fat. And so what I do is take a good pork sausage and I cut the skin off it and take the sausage meat out and make it into two patties and then I put them on the griddle pan. It takes three minutes to cook each side. Because there's a bigger surface area, the fat's going to ooze out into the pan and you won't be eating that fat. So my skinny sausage patties are a perfect complement to my low-fat version of cooked breakfast, which involves a poached egg, and I always dry fry some parma ham instead of eating some bacon, because that gives you the flavour but with no fat. That's my perfect skinny breakfast. Farah is fond of fatty foods, whether savoury or sweet. You can't really beat tiramisu. It's sweet, it's creamy, I absolutely adore it. But her regular tiramisu is widening her waist, thanks to the scrummy mascarpone, delectable chocolate, squidgy sponge and naughty booze. Sal's challenge, a tasty tiramisu that's skinny and scrumptious. So I'm gonna take a couple of eggs. I'm just gonna add some sugar in. Unrefined caster sugar. And I'm just going to whisk that up. So I'm going to use 0% Greek yogurt. Put that in there. Now I'm going to add the cream cheese in there because I sort of want a bit of sourness as well. And then cocoa powder, about, I don't know, a tablespoon. As you can tell, I'm doing everything by eye. Cool. And of course, I think just for the orange effect. Quick. Well, well the orange effect and the fun factor. So this is where the sort of chocolate indulgence bit comes in. There you go. So everything's done by the whisk, so it's pretty easy. Just going to whisk up the egg whites to sort of a, a, like a firm peak. If you just put a little bit of the egg white in, and that just loosens that off a little bit. Would you mind grating um, just a bit of chocolate? So you've put this in the freezer, and I've never done that before. Where's that? If you do that, then it's not going to melt in your hand. So I'm going to take the coffee, and I'm just going to pour that into a dish. These sponge fingers, I'm going to just dunk into the coffee and orange liqueur. You can use like amaretti biscuits if you wanted oh, yeah. to, mm -hmm. with a nice sort of almond flavour to them. And you just sprinkle the chocolate over. It's a good sort of 70% cocoa solid, so you don't need too much of it because it's nice and strong. And then add in the lovely sort of chocolate orange mixture. Rather than put more grated chocolate on there, I'm going to put this dark mascarpone sugar. For even skinnier tiramisu, cut out the alcohol and use extra light cream cheese. Yum. Farah's regular tiramisu used to cost her almost 400 calories. Sal's skinny version is 217.
Poached eggs are a great way of dropping a dress size. Add a splash of white wine vinegar, a large pinch of salt. I'm going to crack an egg, stir the water until there's like a cyclone effect in it, and drop the egg in. And leave it to poach for about two to three minutes. I like to serve my poached eggs Mexican style with corn tortillas and spicy tomato sauce. In Britain, we spend over £2 billion a year on slimming products. But is it all a huge waste of money or do some actually work? Each week, we've been testing slimming aids and supplements. Tonight, it's the turn of oolong tea. Those who wish to lose weight are instructed to use the tea up to three times a day with each meal. Some distributors claim that drinking oolong tea decreases the amount of fat the body absorbs as well as increasing the body's breakdown of fats. This process is claimed to lower your blood cholesterol and decrease your waistline. We gave a group of volunteers the opportunity to try out the tea. Our doctor took down all their measurements and the ladies agreed to drink the product for four weeks. But there was a twist. Group A were given the real product, but unbeknownst to Group B, they were given a bottle of flat cola to dilute with water three times a day. Will the genuine product help Group A lose weight at zero calories a cup? And what will happen to Group B as they try out our high-calorie cola drink? Find out our results later in the programme. Farah's determined to drop a dress size, but she's addicted to greasy grub. I love lasagna and not the low fat type you buy in the supermarket. Full fat cream, absolutely love it. But her fatty fix is thickening her thighs, thanks to the greasy meat, creamy sauce, fatty cheese and bulky pasta. Sophie's challenge, a light but luxurious lasagna. I'm going to make a version for her which is far superior, so much skinnier for her. I've replaced a lot of the meat with lots of cut up vegetables. These little carrots which gives it a nice sweetness. Now I've got some ground um, minced beef here and I've used kind of extra lean which is much better. I'm just going to fry it off. I want to make it really a kind of sexy nice dish which lasagna so often isn't. Wine actually adds a lot of flavour to a dish and it doesn't add loads of calories and doesn't add loads of fat. And tinned tomatoes. We've got the bay leaves as well. So mix them in. Rosemary and thyme work quite well. Yeah, that's when I would use it. Adding some tomato puree because it adds so much flavour or hardly any calories. And I'm going to move on to making the cheese sauce right. because you know those cheese sauce is normally a packed full of butter and yes. cream and... It's too much. If you should just put three tablespoons of corn flour in there for me. This is our thickening agent. I use semi-skim milk instead of full-fat milk. A little bit of nutmeg. Not too much, though, because it's enough to do the opposite. Oh, yeah, we'll get one going. <laughs> Put a little bit of mustard in it. Mm. Gives it a good colour as well as flavour. Oh, look at it. It's really yeah. thickened up. It's yum. It's looking good, huh? Yeah, I don't think you've missed the fat, you see. Now, the next bit is cheese. Now, I've used really strong mature cheddar cheese because it adds more flavour than you can use less cheese. Right, so now we can layer up. This is the kind of fun bit. Um, it's quite thin layers because we haven't used as much meat as I normally would. So this is one bit where you would normally put pasta in. Char-grilled the courgettes as well because you don't have to use any fat in the char grill and the char grill adds more flavour to it as well. Now, because Farrah doesn't have much time, I've used fresh pasta sheets because they take a lot less time to cook than dried ones. Peeled red peppers, and they come in a jar of lime, not oil. With all the extra flavours from the caramelised meat and the vegetables and stuff, you're not really missing out on anything. Sprinkle the cheese over top. Right, so that's going to go in the oven for about half an hour until it's all kind of bubbly and crispy and golden gorgeous. Now, this is Farrah's special skinny lasagna. Hardcore skinny? Take out the pasta and bulk up with veg. More indulgent? Go on. Add some more cheese. Good? Yeah, you would never know it's any different from a normal lasagna. It's delicious. Farah 
Sarah's regular lasagna used to cost her over 800 calories. Sophie's skinny version is less than half of that. Farah's fanatical about food, but this busy businesswoman can't cook. I absolutely love seafood, so if you can show me a dish that centres around seafood, I'd love to learn it. Harry's challenge to inspire Farah with a skinny seafood dish. So why have you kind of developed this dish for Farah? What makes it kind of very Farah dish? Well, I was thinking, you know, she loves her food. I mean, loves her food. So what we're going to do here is big flavours and um, yeah. what I would call slightly higher end kind of ingredients. This is going to be quite a colourful dish and I think Farah is a colourful person. So here we go. Look how this starting to open. That's really... How much fun is that? So I'm going to put the spaghetti in for you, Harry. Okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, Sam. With squid ink pasta, it isn't actually very easy to get hold of. If you go to some of the big Italian delis, um, they will definitely have it. Now, these are baby squid. And what I'm after, which is happening now, is just a tiny bit of golden colour. Whoa! <laughs> the squid does not like being pan-fried, but then, would you? That's now going to sit on the side for a bit. Is it? I was going to eat a bit. <laughs> Tucky and Sal, absolutely. These are king prawns. Obviously, you know when prawns are cooked because they turn pink. So they go from grey to pink. All I'm doing literally is just searing these because they will have a few minutes in the, um, in the stock later to poach. I'm going to try your pasta. I think it's definitely better now. A bit of chorizo in here now. This is, to me, the absolute perfect thing to have with seafood. The important thing about the chorizo is that um, the smaller you cut it, the more the flavour is going to spread throughout the dish. That's why I'm doing that. Next, big strong flavour of garlic. In it goes. Little sizzle. Onion, which is here. That's obviously going to all absorb the flavour from the chorizo. A little bit of um, saffron going in here. Booze, as ever. The alcohol burns off a bit and you keep the flavour. So there we go. Now we should get that in a nice little sizzle. So a little bit of cinnamon in there. Then I'm going to add my stock, which is over here. I've also put in um, a little bit of orange juice. Okay, so now that that's bubbling away, I'm just going to put the seafood back in to poach. To make this dish even skinnier, Ditch the chorizo. Get in there, Sal. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh, yum. The girls pack Farah a hamper of tasty ingredients. Over the next six weeks, she'll be cooking herself thin with chicken tikka, tiramisu, lasagna, seafood linguine, plus more of their snacks and treats. With high hopes of Farah dropping a dress size, the girls hit the shops to find the perfect dress. What about that? The question is, will she be able to fit into a size 14? But first, the results of our experiment. We're buying more of them, but do weight loss products actually work? This week, we put oolong tea to the test. The product can cost up to $18.99 for 60 bags. It's claimed that oolong tea can boost the body's metabolism and increase fat breakdown. Up against the zero-calorie oolong tea is our fake product, which is diluted full-fat cola. For four weeks, half our guinea pigs unknowingly took the flat cola drink and half used the genuine product. Here's the surprising results. On the real weight loss product, Oolong Tea, the women actually gained an average of 1.9 pounds. I found the tea in itself refreshing, but I certainly didn't feel that it was making any difference to how I ate or how I felt about myself. In fact, I ate a lot more, and I think the tea increased my appetite. <laughs> how old are you? In our little test, the women consuming the fake product also put on weight. They gained an average total of... 2.2 pounds. Hardly surprising given the extra calories they were consuming. I didn't feel kind of 
weight was dropping off easily or anything. I don't think that the drink changed my lifestyle in any way. So, dismal results for both the genuine and the fake products as none of the women actually lost any weight. Bring on the professor. I think it's misleading to imply that you can just drink three cups of tea a day and it will help you lose weight. It's misleading people because they think there's a simple solution to a complex problem. We say if you're going to buy a fat-burning tea, you're better off sticking to your standard cuppa. So long, Oolong. Six weeks ago, Farah Malik was binging out on microwave meals and dodgy desserts. Our four girls' aim was to get Farah to recognise real food with the help of their recipes. Farah took up the challenge and began to cook herself thin. But six weeks later, did it actually work? Farah used to be a size 16, bothered with her thunder thighs and big bottom. But after cooking herself thin, she's dropped over a stone and a fantastic two dress sizes to become a size 12. Farah had more motivation than most. She wanted to get into her wedding dress. But her extra efforts have really paid off. Well, I'm really pleased with the results, actually. I was quite shocked. So you didn't believe our cooking would work? The food tasted so good. And, you know, you're taught to believe that if it tastes nice, there's just absolutely no way you're going to be losing any weight whatsoever. Yeah. It just makes you feel really good to be yeah. able to make your own meals that don't come out of a packet or come from, you know, the delivery boy. My clothes fit again, and it's fantastic, so I'm really pleased. Thank you Yay. so much for your help. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next time, can another disillusioned dieter drop a dress size on a diet of strawberry tart? Absolutely amazing. It, it didn't so fall apart. <laughs> Fried chicken and coleslaw. We are not cutting back on the crunchy crispy factor. That's got to be the most important part. And kebab wraps. We now have a nappy. <laughs>